Hey guys, you're watching Explore the Weird. If you're into creepy and weird, well, you must be a goon. Welcome back. We are back. It could be a longer intro. I don't know yet. I'm recording as we speak. Hey, I have ADHD. Welcome. This is a different type of reaction channel. I actually watch the video alongside you goons. I love I love this type of content. So if you're into this type of content as well, make sure you smoke that like button, hit that subscribe, become part of the Ganja Goons gang. We would love to have more like-minded goons like yourself. That's exactly what we want. Um, I'm trying to still gain the members up. So if you guys can support the channel, that would be awesome. And with that, uh, longer form content, I talk a lot. If you don't like that, go watch something else. All right, let's get right into it. عمي خذها خذها أنا مش سامعك Yo, what did I just witness? Did they... Then again, am I looking at a paranormal... A true paranormal event? And, and they're misidentifying it as a cave creature? Are we looking at an interdimensional being? Teddy, don't kid yourself. That was clearly edited. I know. I know, Crazy Teddy, but the... Wait a second, what? <laughs> Crazy Teddy telling me this is this is uh, edited? Okay. Okay, all right. Then we are moving on. Nothing to see here. Everything is fine. Oh, everybody still has the gall to think the conspiracy theorists are crazy lately. It's like with the bridge thing. Everybody's like, oh, here we go. Bro, remember when we said that there was pedophiles everywhere at the top of every institution, that they were messing with all the kids in Hollywood, and you guys were like, oh, this is so far-fetched. And then Nickelodeon just popped off. The whole series, HBO did the full series on a Drake and Josh, bro. Amanda Bynes. Remember when we were like, all oh, your favorite rappers are basically doing weird backdoor sexual things to get favors, and a lot of it's satanic, and they include a lot of Satanism, and you guys are like, oh my God, you got so outlandish. And then, oh, Puff Daddy, turns out had camera, hidden cameras in every single room in his house. Now he's on the run for human sex trafficking. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, man. I'm not saying that anything's going on with the bridge. My point is for the people that are saying it's conspiracy idiots that are thinking something is. Who are you talking to, bro? Who's been more right in the last like five years about everything? How many vaccines did you get, bro? They were supposed to be 100% effective. Why'd you need more than one? How's that work? How's Ivermectin? We let it talk about that medicine yet? What happened with the FDA recently with that? Lower your voice. That's what I'm saying. Think a little bit, bro, and don't shit on people that are trying to. Yo, yeah, don't don't hate on people that are trying to. I 100% agree with that. Uh, and that's what the, it is all about. You know, we're just exploring. We're trying to keep an open mind. Why you gotta hate on us goons? Let us, let us explore, damn it. Oh my god, Teddy, who was that for? I don't know, I don't know. Someone needed to hear that. Just let us explore. Dora was allowed to explore, and why can't I, why can't Teddy explore? <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely uh, understand this man's frustrations. These are not some things um, that I try to convince others, like, hey, look, I was right. I was right the entire time. I'm at the point of, like, ah. Uh, I knew it. I acknowledge it. I, I know I'm smarter than the Matrix, just like every goon here that is watching this video knows they're smarter than the Matrix. Um, and we acknowledge it and we identify and we progress, you know, and we because we are manifesting a better life for ourselves and our family. And that is what we're trying to do. Um, and, you know, there are people that aren't like minded like ourselves and they don't agree. Hey, yeah, they're not going to be hopping as uh, we go through our Hops through CERN. If it's it is CERN, that is not. Regardless, we're gonna keep it going. Oh my god. I've never Thunder bass drum. These are long waves. Long wave sounds travel longer throughout the environment. It dawned on me, oh my god, this may mean that drum circles, indigenous people, pagans, people celebrating a harvest, they're all coming together in community and they're drumming. And as they're drumming, these long wave sound frequencies are literally going into mycelial networks that are underneath your feet, that are in your immediate surroundings. The mycelium is like strings on a guitar, like strings on a piano or a violin. They are reverberating from the thunderous beating of humans celebrating nature and life is causing the mycelial networks to grow. 
And as the mycelium is growing, it's giving more nutrients, it's helping all these other life cycles. There's more potential fruits, berries, nuts. Uh, so the emanates throughout the ecosystem. And so I realized, oh my gosh, this may be actually a feedback loop. When you're celebrating in community with music, you are actually communicating with mycelial networks. And every one of those fibers are resonating from the sound waves and they're responding with their fruitful acknowledgement and being able to provide you with greater sustenance. Dude, that is crazy. And I've seen this guy on Joe Rogan. I still can't recall this guy's name, but I, he's got the mushroom hat. You've seen him, the crazy mushroom hat. He's like, hey, look at me. I'm wearing a mushroom hat. And I'm like, oh, wow, like nice. <laughs> I love mushrooms. <laughs> the, the regular cut. Wait. We love mushrooms. We're gonna keep. We're gonna stick with that. Um, yeah, this is definitely mycelium network. I haven't done too much research, but I know in other short form content that he has presented, he talks about it as like a neural network. Hey, it's learning. It's growing. It basically behaves just like our brain. It's uh, um, cognizant. You know, it, it's it's uh, sentient, if you will. It knows and it helps and it aids and it's helping everything mushrooms is the key and that's why he is such a goon for mushrooms and i and we love that we love people uh that are spreading uh truth and knowledge here and this does seem like he's trying to tell us hey start beating the drums you know what's crazy i used to come I, from come i used to wait 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 i used to come from an era uh where i did drum circles um, for quite some time, I think I would did for almost three years or something, uh, where at, in university, I would literally participate, smoke the like button, go with my friend Ben to a drum circle that was all uh, or orchestrated in like the middle of a sidewalk. And we would just, oh my God, why am I even telling you? I was crazy. I was crazy. And it, drum circles originate uh, well with me. All right. Yeah, let's keep it going. Interesting. And 2021, if you leave something behind, somebody's gonna find it. Hides it in a tree. I mean, this is fascinating. Either that or, I mean, this guy is a pro when it comes to editing and special effects. But what's, what, what makes this crazy, I mean, you can still see nobody in the background. But let's go to the next clips here. People are actually sharing that they found his keychain with the coordinates that he gave them. Now, this person is also showing that the area that he was in is a populated area. You can see people walking their dogs. You can see people jogging, having picnics, and there it is. There's the keychain right there. He put a note there for for them. This guy is in, is in shock. Here's another one right here. Guy found it. I mean, did he go out early in the morning when nobody was around and film these shots right before he posted the video? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's what makes this so cool. Uh, this video is hard to follow because the narrator's microphone is off. Um, and it doesn't match up with his lips. So I can't tell uh, what he's trying to insinuate. So it sounds like, hey, there's some guy in a different dimension. And he's uh, trying to interact with our dimension. And he's sending us video messages, I guess. And leaving us me uh, notes. Uh, in this other dimension and we're getting them in our current timeline and dimension that's crazy we hear about these time travelers all the time i'm asking you, hey why don't you give me some lottery numbers so that way i can win teddy you're not allowed to win you're not allowed to win that's the thing but you know you know i can dream i can dream <laughs> there's gonna be a teddy one day that's gonna be like teddy these are the ways you win the lottery why are you teddy why won't you tell me the answers it's going to start in loop where you're just going to every other Teddy is going to self-destruct because you messed it up. You weren't supposed to know. Look what you did. Sorry, this is turning into something else. We're going to keep it going. By the way, by the way, are you a goon? Did you smoke the like button? Double check for me, please, right now. Are you watching on the television? Don't be that goon. Don't be that goon. Don't, don't give me no reasons. Find a way to smoke that like button. We would appreciate you interact with the video yet again. Um, YouTube saying I'm losing audience and I'm losing people. So I'm going to try uh, and keep the content concise, but keep the same goon energy. All right, let's keep it going. You know, it's an ice spice at the Super Bowl type thing. No, 
Teddy Ice Spice was 100% saying rock on, just like this referee. Crazy Teddy, are you, whose side are you on? You stop it with this nonsense right now. Um, yes, potentially he's saying rock on, but everything tells me this guy, 100%, um, comes from a different, uh, <laughs> background and potentially believes in a different thing. Dang, God damn it, Teddy, just say he's a Satanist. Oh my God. All right, uh, we're going to keep it going. See a tree, you're left brained, and if you see two people holding hands, you're right brained. And if I see a fucked up ostrich, I. Do I just lack a brain altogether? Bro, goons, all I saw was a effed up ostrich. I was like, is this an emu? Like the long neck, the eyes, the beak? And this person's talking about two people holding hands. What holding hands? The hell? Where's the people? Wait, there's people in here? And then the what was the other one? <laughs> a tree? Where the hell is the tree? <laughs> is this is this meant to mess with us? There's really no people in no is this like a um what color is the dress tape thing? Do you not see the people or the tree, Teddy? What's wrong with you? I don't know. That's what it, many people are trying to figure out. <laughs> Hopefully the therapists can figure it out. Therapists? Oh god. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with seeing therapists, all right? Better help is real. That creatures like us get old and die. And the answer was um, basically this, that you have a genome that's complex. It's full of genes, but there aren't enough genes for, to have a gene for every uh, trait that you have. In fact, they're a tiny fraction of the number of genes you would need to cover all of the various characteristics you have. So genes always do multiple things. And in the case when a gene does something that's very good for you when you're young, at some cost when you're old, selection tends to, to favor it because you may not live long enough to suffer the cost. And so if you have the trait that makes you powerful when you're young, and you've got uh, some cost that you're gonna pay when you're old, but you're not gonna live to get it, it may be a freebie. Right? So selection sees early life much more clearly than it sees late life. And it prefers things that help you early, even at a cost of harming you late. That's the basic answer. It's called the antagonistic pleiotropy theory of senescence. I, I wouldn't even be able to say that um, theory uh, again. That was a lot of words. That was a lot of words. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, very, very sad, I guess, at the same time that uh, the genes are selective like this. Hey, reap the benefits when you're young and you don't think about it when uh, you're thinking about longev longevity. And I guess that's one of the reasons people aren't living as long. They're uh, being, uh, hey, Teddy, we're in a free world. We're free thinkers. Who cares about health? I'm all about free decisions. Guys, be smart goons. Do the right things. I actually thought you lived longer. It was all about those telomeres, but I guess I'm wrong. I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought it was telomeres. I thought you need to figure out how to keep yourself encapsulated. But why are we trying to figure out the age, uh, age defined solution when we already know what it is? Yeah, we already know what it is. They just won't tell you. But I figured it out. I know in my head. Crazy Teddy, what is it? Oh, Teddy, it's a Drina Corp. No, 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 you, you stop it. There's a fountain of youth somewhere. You know it. They suck in vampire blood, Teddy. Oh, my, vampire blood. <laughs> oh, it's even stronger than the human blood. We did not each other's energies. You have no idea. Man, you really starting to sound like Alex Jones these days, Crazy Teddy. We're going to keep it going. Oh, my God.
It's like, do you guys live near one of these artificial black hole suns that you can, like, fill the goons? It's like, Teddy, I got one right near us. Sometimes we have three suns in the sky. Is that where all those videos come from? Where they're like, oh, my God, there's another sun. I can't explain it. Is this another planet? Someone explain this. Oh, they're just testing the thing. Didn't you see the patents? Didn't you see Teddy's video? <laughs> I have no clue. I have no clue. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like, imagine. But then at the same time, you know, um... Astrology has existed for so long. They've been predicting eclipses. I mean, they weren't. They didn't have this back in the day, nine thousand years ago, when eclipses were still. Wait, whatever many years ago when they were still, when the Mayans were even predicting uh, eclipses. Many civilizations predicted eclipses. All right, I don't think they all had this uh, technology and patents that they were. I must say that eclipses probably a real thing. Uh, we, I don't know, you know, when it comes to globe versus flat. Uh, but the event does occur, and it's probably a natural occurring event, and there is no other involvement. But it is interesting to know that there are patents like this that are out there. All right, um, let's keep it going. Okay, I'm going to show you the end first, just in case you think this is like water on the lens or a lens flare or something. What is that? Check that out. This is Lake Huron Live last night. Yeah. Okay. So, I saw these, like, fog things rolling under the bridge, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. What, is that my imagination? And then as I was watching, what the heck, do you see those lines? So I thought, okay, it's gotta be, like, some camera trick weird thing that happens near the water but I've watched this before and I watched this all night and this has never happened I've never seen this I have no idea what this is but it definitely looks like something was camouflaged and when it got under the lights not so camouflaged I don't know what do you think that's pretty crazy I, I, you know, at first I saw it and I'm like, yo, someone's blowing fat, fat clouds underneath the bridge and trolling this lady. <laughs> Which goon? Are you one of those goons trying to trick us right now? <laughs> but, you know, the first clip uh, uh, did was like the only one that kind of stood out as weird because you could definitely see the wave and it appeared to be like free thinking or maybe it was a bug between the clouds and the fog or something. I don't know. Maybe they're uh, firing up the cleed, uh, cleed, the cloud <laughs> Oh my god, clean. Oh my god. Uh, the cloud generator, and that's basically, you know, what happened. And they're like, oh, you know, something happened with the molecule, and it's now acting all crazy. Who knows? Who knows? But it is intriguing. It is intriguing. I wonder if it's safe to breathe. I wonder what happens if you breathe it. Wait, well, how did this turn into breathing this random thing that we've just seen? All right, we're going to keep it going. Interesting, Teddy. Did y'all hear about the lead in the Lunchables? I'm surprised that people are surprised because we have a long history of putting lead in food to do all sorts of things. We use lead for sweetener. We use lead for packaging. We use lead for all kinds of stuff. It's like it's some big hell secret that you don't use lead to butter your toast. Side, one of the biggest sources of lead and lead is a very undiscussed like problem in the United States lead has been used industrially for hundreds of years and contaminated thousands of acres many of them residential acres in big cities like Chicago one of the side effects of lead exposure mostly from water anymore is that it can make you violent and unpredictable hard for people to emotionally regulate it's weird that you can tr put circles around where there's high concentrations of lead in places like Chicago, where it's got where they've still got lead pipes in service in their water system, and violence. Um, there's also a lot of lead up north in lead mines like uh, North Idaho, 
Ring any bells? Mining little mining towns where they mine silver. There's usually lead associated with that. It's typically in the ground. Leaded gasoline exposed millions of people to high levels of lead. Leaded paint. I mean, this guy just made a joke. And by the way, entertainment purposes only. This guy just made a joke about you know melting lead and eating it. And at this point, I guess he's saying, hey, it's safe. It's non-toxic, Teddy. You ain't a gang gonna kill you. They got you tricked. But then he starts making correlations between crimes and the amount of lead that is present in the locations. So it's like, what the hell? What the hell? What am I supposed to believe? What am I? I can't believe anything. I'm just gonna manifest that lead is okay. Everyone's gonna be okay. We're just gonna keep hopping. CERN's gonna fire up. Stop! Stop! Don't tell them it's CERN. Okay. Okay. Things are gonna happen. Things are gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, my brother actually used to eat um, when we lived in England in uh, Manchester, England um, he would eat paint chips and he actually got lead poisoning he got diagnosed and we're like we have to make him watch him and make sure he don't eat them paint chips or he would be scarfing those down like it was like potato chips I swear, I swear I remember watching him and I'm like dude what is up with this guy, he's a little kid you don't know better, he's like windowsill looks nice, ooh interesting eats them like bugs you know wait kids don't eat bugs so what the hell did... never mind i mean at this point we're gonna have to eat bugs for the protein right yeah. whole different thing adhd i already warned you in the beginning so if you're like now into teddy you talk too much i can't stand you i need to go watch my other reaction youtubers that is fine don't worry i understand i understand i'm not for everybody all right let's keep it going why do you guys think he's called Mr. Beast? I Listen. thought Elon Musk gave you a Neuralink, bro. Well, like, yeah, you're way too smart. I would love one, by the way. <laughs> because once you have infinite, you know, bandwidth to unlimited knowledge, you can make unlimited money. It um, doesn't scare you at all. No, you're really. like pretty much a robot at that point. Yeah, but we already are. I think you're just making people less human. Probably. For sure. Yeah. Imagine every human has it, and then like, I mean, I'm not conspiracy, but like. The government pretty much like, knows off. what well, everyone's no. <laughs> thinking, yeah. yeah. As a big influencer, he knows what he's doing. I mean, money is the motive, right? So he would take the mark, I mean, Neuralink. What else will he influence people into? From, are you afraid of death, by the way? Yes. What if you just die and then you just see nothing forever, you know? Yeah. I'm kind of hopeful that someone like Elon or one of these, like, freak smart people will just, like, be like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to figure out a way where we can slow down aging, get it where, you know, we can live to be two, three hundred years old and just like set their sights on that. You can basically Listen. do anything with uh, synthetic uh, RNA, DNA. It's, it's like a computer program. With, uh, with an effort that's not too crazy, you could probably stop aging, reverse it if you want. Um, you could turn someone into a freaking butterfly if you want with the right DNA sequence. Now you guys can believe what you want, right? Some people are given credit just to push certain agendas that were preconceived long ago. But that's a video for another time. Yo, that is interesting. I never considered that um, people just change themselves into whatever they wanted. According to Elon, you can change yourselves to a butterfly if you want, if you manipulate the DNA. Makes sense, right? It's like, hey, all DNAs are 90 eight percent like the same except like the last two percent or something it's something crazy like that don't correct me i'm not a numerologist i don't know this stuff i don't remember i got no brain teddy it's not numerologist that know that i'm not a biologist all right whatever the thing it just sorry it's supposed to be oh my god oh my god why do you always correct me crazy teddy just let me be just let me be um mark of the beast is it Neuralink? i don't know there's been so many mark of the beast and then now people are saying there's multiple beasts and there's multiple marks you're gonna get you already got the mark all right i'm sorry to tell you, you that cell phone yeah you got the mark you stop it you stop it you watching me on the television you got the mark oh yeah you have some type of technology in your home you got the mark <laughs> Oh my god, he did some goon, poor soul goon out there. He's gonna be like, I gotta get rid of all this tech. Oh no, I gotta go move into a cave. No, you stop it. We got a shivalingam. Everything's fine. The shivalingam's gonna protect us. We listen to the shivalingam. It is a court stone. It gives us energy. I take the energy. I give it to the ganja goons gang. You're part of the ganja goons gang. You're gonna be I. Don't freak out. Everything's alright. I will freak out for you. Let me have the mental problems you be okay. You just watch me have the mental problems. Um, wait, what? Uh, sorry, mental problems. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Beast. Quite an interesting character himself. Uh, um, I do believe he also uh, wants to take the...
thing on and he brings up a valid point which is hey you know once we die potentially in his mind there's nothing we're gonna be nothing so he needs one of a solution which is like anti-aging or living longer so who knows maybe he lives longer we get even more mr beast content but i do believe he's probably gonna his brand's gonna live on and outlive him he's already built the corporation everything's gonna be fine for him he's overthinking it they the corporation outlives the actual individual that's how you do it now the, the entity so oh, corporations are entities oh get out of here some corporations can vote did you know that yeah it's interesting um all right sorry adhd we're gonna keep it You're not fear-mongering, but you're telling us to filter all our water. Hey, look at this. It used to be this color, and now it's this color. Hey, that's how I used to sell Kirby vacuum cleaners. It was a white tra white piece of paper. No matter what you uh, vacuumed on the white piece of paper, it looked bad. it get dirty. You know, it's like, ah, why aren't my teeth ever white? I need more Crest White Strips steady. No, you don't. Don't use that. It's bad for your teeth, especially over prolonged usage. Do rotations. Find a way. Find it. Keep your enamel safe. Um... Sorry, yes, this lady is telling us about uh, water, and definitely you goons, you make your own decision. I actually just keep refilling the same plastic water bottle over and over again with tap water and drinking it. Uh, yes, exactly how I like my water, pharmaceuticals and everything. It's got the perfect amount of microplastics. It's, it's the perfect combination. And then I just let it simmer, you know, it just sits here for days, oof. I'm getting all the benefits. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> reap all these benefits. Oh, Teddy, you're gonna keep killing yourself on stream. Look at you now. All right, crazy Teddy, you win the same body as me, all right? So we're gonna keep it going. You see this woman right here? This is why they want to shut down TikTok. Listen closely to what she's about to say and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. The power of NAD. You probably heard all the celebrities are taking it as injections. Why? Because it's supposed to slow down the aging process, and it's one of the three things that makes us age. And we start losing NAD as we get older, same as the collagen, same as the glutathione. So as we start losing this, our skin starts to sag, and we start to get wrinkles, and we start aging, our metabolism goes down. I feel like NAD is really great for energy it's a source of energy also if we had no nad in our body we'd be you know what i mean so if you're looking for a great thing to add it's nad it's nad it's the collagen gives like results but the nad you feel like you feel so good on it this NAD that she was talking about is a molecule in our cells that converts our nutrients into energy. And as we get older, our NAD levels begin to decline drastically. If you supply your body with NAD, you could potentially revitalize those cells and keep your body energized. So what many wealthy people have been doing is supplying their body with NAD in hopes to combat the effects of aging. But the bad news is that NAD injections are very expensive. It can cost you nearly $1,000 for just I mean, it's it's cheaper than stem cells. So do stem cells reverse aging? Because stem cell injections, I hear, are over five grand each. Yeah, yeah. So if NAD, I mean, then again, stem cells they also solve a whole different type of problem. Sometimes the people have real issues that they need uh, stem cell injections for. And NAD is more of like a major related. I don't know. I don't know. Do you, you guys inject yourselves with any things? The only things I recently found out is like my doctor's like, Teddy, you're deficient in, in vitamin d you're deficient in vitamin b you're you're just horrible teddy all all your levels are deficient i'm like you know doctor i keep taking the multivitamin every day those flimstone gummies don't eat themselves you know and i sometimes overdo it too and he's like that don't make no sense then your gut's not absorbing the vitamins so we need to find a different way to administer these vitamins and i'm like 
I'm ready to try anything. And he's like, get ready for some intramuscular <laughs> B12 and D3 injections. I'm like, yo, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, at this point, I don't know if he's serious. I guess I'll find out in like uh, three more days if anything shows up. If nothing shows up, I'm like back to the same thing. 50,000 units of D3. Something thousand units of something. And this is a true story. I ain't even joking you with you. Like, my body can't absorb vitamins. Like, is it the, it's it the absorption that's the issue, or is it the body that's the issue? And I'm like, it's the body. Teddy, your own body, Crohn's disease. Come on now. All right, sorry. How did this turn into this? NAD, yeah. Yeah, do you guys do anything crazy like this? Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, I, never, I barely ask for input, so I, I definitely need to know now. All right, let's uh, just do two more. Just two more, Teddy. Say the weird thing. <clears throat> this might sound crazy, but Petty Eclipse on the go reiterate this. Um, I don't think that it's the moon that's going in front of the sun. Because this is for entertainment purposes only. Because I've, the eclipse is going on right now, supposedly. Right? And so I've been outside all day. And the sun is this round ball. Moon's a round ball. Supposedly the sun and the moon are up there together right now. I don't think that the moon is what's going in front of the sun. I don't. Because if the sun glows off, like, if the sun is what causes the moon to glow, like, the moon shining on the, the sun shining on the moon is what causes the moon to light up. Would it? I have watched it. If it's heading its way to go and cross in front of the sun, like if the moon is really about to like, maybe I won't see it while it's right over the sun because it's blocking the light. But today, wouldn't the moon have been shining? You would have been able to see glimpses of the moon about to cross it. She's got a point. Like if, if the sun is what shines the moon, wouldn't we have been able to watch the moon make its way over to the sun? I mean, I see the moon in the daylight all the time. Yep, Why haven't we seen the moon make its way towards the sun if the sun is shining on the moon? They're both like balls, right? Balls of whatever they are, whatever. The balls and like... That one's light, and that one shines from that one shining. When we watch it come across the sky today, like when would we watch it make its way in front of the sun? I've seen the moon in the daylight. What, I mean, it's just going to randomly appear right here in front of the sun and block it out. I mean, we're not going to watch the moon like we do every single day. In, like, daylight, you can see the moon all the time, but we're not going to watch it come across the sky, go in front of the sun, and be able to watch it go back down. I mean, I see the moon in the day all the time. How can we not see it going across the sky, then covering the moon, and then going away from it? Why have we not? Yeah, I mean, um, interesting uh, point from this lady. I personally thought that was because it was a new moon, meaning, hey, you don't see the moon, right? You have the full moon, then the new moon, where no moon phases are present, and then the eclipse happens during that uh, morning. So it's like, that's what I assumed, and I believe the next day is like ended up being a full moon, but I can't recall. Now I can't recall. Uh, I also um, have heard this from other uh, short form clips that we, I think we've even watched on this channel um, where people say, hey, I, I don't even see the other part of the moon, just like this lady is saying, uh, when it enters the um, sun as well, right? You can't even see uh, what that moon, but it's like, dude, this event has been happening for years, for years. Why would they uh, fake this now? And why, you know, this is something that uh, it's a more of a, uh, astrological thing, you know, that we got asked some astrologists, people that study astronomy, <laughs> Stephen Hawking. I don't know. We got to ask someone that's not me. Let's figure it out. But uh, I think everything's okay here. This lady's just misinformed, and hopefully, some smarter goon like Nathan is probably going to inform us. I uh, please inform us, Nathan. I, I also would like to know. All right, let's uh, just do one more. Just one more, Teddy. One minute now. <laughs> It's got a lot of shit and whatever. Like, I don't know what's in there. Can you get in there? It's pretty much stuck on there. Like it's the the candle has it sealed completely. Yeah, 
said you probably shouldn't have opened that sealed box at first I you know I was feeling hey here comes another edited thing but then you know some of these felt a little original a little Blair Witch Project type of footage you know maybe it could have been edited I did then I found out Blair Witch Project wasn't real at all I was like oh my god this felt so real and it's like ah oh, it wasn't real but it felt so real uh potentially they're making a spin-off here as well but uh, yeah why would you open a closed box especially with all wax all over it it's like hey this got bad juju all over it that goons you ever see any you come across a situation where like hey there's a box and there's candle wax around it stay away from crazy box don't investigate don't be that goon don't be a hero i tell my crypto guys all the time don't be a hero i'm telling you guys as well don't be a hero just don't do it <laughs> oh my god all right yeah quite interesting spooky indeed um i believe that is it we're now at the end guys i'm having quite fun hanging out with you unfortunately the youtube algorithm doesn't like when i talk about certain topics they've been putting me down more and more not suggesting my videos and at this point i'm doing this for myself i'm doing this for the true goons that continue to support the channel the members have the biggest shout outs dude seven members strong i love each and every one of you um really you guys keep me going I love to see that support please if you can and you want to um support this channel and want more great content become a member that is the greatest way especially during the shadow ban you guys see my numbers you know how it is uh you can see when my videos are getting suppressed when they talk about certain topics right so uh do help me out that will um help in the youtube algorithm and as well as grow uh, the goon gang so eventually i could potentially do this all day imagine every day a new video of teddy imagine that could be a potential uh but as of right now that is not the reality i'm trying to do every other day me and nikita have been doing so good so far um and i believe i am now recording it's like 4 16 by the time you guys see this it'll probably be end of april um and then i'll have to get back into the group i'm gonna take a small break uh figure out my bearings and then come right back into recording again for april and uh, uh, april <laughs> may oh my god teddy come on now smoking the light button too hard that's it that's it you don't know you don't know when you're watching this um nah but they won't promote it after they promote it for like two days and then they like stop promoting the video so like what the hell now i gotta make a whole other video what happened to all the old videos go promote those uh no but if you goons want to help definitely go watch old content it'll definitely help and by the way right now there should be like two boxes and a guy in the middle, which is with the circle. That's the subscribe. The two boxes, watch more videos. Um, and yeah, that's it. Have fun. Stay safe. Stay strong. And appreciate all the members. Become a member today. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.